Well, good morning, everybody. It's currently 6.15 in the morning, and today is a big day. Caminito del Rey and Antiguera. <laughs> There's just two locations I'm looking forward to a lot. Now, I don't know why I'm whispering, because this is the loudest coffee machine in the world. <laughs> I'm now running late. Too much admin. Okay, we are off to meet our driver. How are you? Good, good, good. It's exciting. So we are currently at the visitor center and I'm gonna make my way there. Obviously it's pitch black at the minute, um, but that's, that's what I want. I don't know if it's like unusual to get early access. I've no idea what the normal opening time of this place is, the Caminito del Rey, but I'm excited to hopefully be on the walk at first light. That's gonna be incredible. The skies, uh, it's looking cloudy, but I can see the moon through the clouds. So it's kind of semi-clear, but we've got lots of mist and fog around. So really no idea what to expect. Whew. Okay, so the walk to the Caminito del Rey begins and it begins in this massive tunnel. It's like 200 meters long and I'm a little bit claustrophobic, so <laughs> I'm fine with heights, which we're going to experience plenty of, but put me in a tunnel and I get the willies. Thank you. Safety first. And so the adventure begins. <laughs> ah, it's going to bring back some memories. Couldn't have asked for better conditions, man. It's, this place is incredible. We have all this low mist and cloud, which has given me my first shot looking straight down the gorge. They're very, very happy about this. And I'm so glad we're in here early because I am blocking the entire walkway. We've got 24 to 70 on, I'm gonna switch lenses, go for a tighter lens, uh, a tighter shot with the 100 to 400. And I'm trying to move as quickly as possible because we have a long way to go. Shoot done, oh, my man. Couldn't have asked for better conditions. We reckon all of the mist and the fog that was in the background of that shot, we reckon could be filling the next valley. This is incredible. We're just rounding another corner and look at this. Oh yes. Oh, the next valley is filled with mist and fog. We need to find a vantage point to shoot. Oh yeah, this is good. This is very, very good. Look at this. How's that for a view? <laughs> right, I better get set up. Oh, this is very cool, but it's a difficult shot, man. It's a, we are effectively shooting into a dark valley where the sun is rising behind it. So we've got this ridiculously bright sky and this deep, dark valley. So the contrast and the dynamic range is insane. So I'm gonna have to bracket. Uh, luckily we have lots of atmosphere, mist and fog, nice composition with a river in the foreground. I just, uh, I just worry about that bright sky. So this boardwalk, the Caminito del Rey, which is the King's Walk, that's what it translates to, I believe. This opened in 2015, but I came here in 2010 on a climbing trip before this was built. And you can see the old walkway that runs beneath this. Talk about a sketchy walk. Actually, the local authorities detonated the start of the walk to prevent people like me getting on it. But we were here on a climbing trip and we climbed up to the walk and then did this whole thing, man. And the walkway was dilapidated, full of big holes with exposed iron girders. And oh, it was the best time of my life when we did this whole walk, which was, I, I can't emphasize how dangerous it was, but it was equally beautiful. And here's the best bit, look at this, right? So just on the right there, let me see if I can zoom in. You can see that railway there, those railway tracks. So we would hike up this slope here, 
onto the railway tracks and then we would walk back through the railway tunnel. You can see there's a railway tunnel just, just down there. So we would hike back through that tunnel. So yeah, man, time of life, totally, it was completely illegal. Like we'd got arrested if we got caught. But I tell you, man, it was just memories. That's all I can say, memories. So no need for a tripod for this one. We have enough light now. I would have loved this shot in the mist and fog. Man. You, can't, you can't live life like that. You can't live life thinking, what if? Views like that, it's just nowhere else in the world do you get this, it's just incredible. So this is a classic shot, which I am fully taking advantage of. Grab another quick shot of the walkway as well. We've got the, the new walkway and the old walkway, and it's just perfect. Look at the drop down. It is a long way down. Might get a better view this way, actually. That is, must be a thousand feet to the bottom. But the view up is just incredible. Look at that. Whew. Yeah, what a place. I'm, I just, I'm so happy right now. I, I, was, I was really looking forward to this part of the trip and it has not disappointed. Cheers, see you later. Oh yeah, can't get enough of that view. Whew. No messing around, ditch the gear, get breakfast. Oh, I feel like I should also say, uh, usually, you can't bring tripods on the Caminito del Rey. I had tripods because, well, I'm special. <laughs> That's because for a job for the Andalusian uh, tourism board. So of course, I uh, am allowed sort of early access and tripods. But anyway, waffling on. Let's go get some breakfast. Thank you. Well, breakfast is done. The work on my laptop is complete, but the actual work never ends because I've packed all my stuff and we are now heading to a place called Antiquera. Antiquera. <laughs> I can't speak Spanish. Anyway, this place looks phenomenal. And like I say, the locations that I'm going to on this trip around Spain and this trip around Andalusia just seem to be getting better and better. So you think El Choro and uh, the Caminito del Rey was good. Wait till you see the next place. Hello again. Right. Here we come. Another day, another hotel. One thing is for certain, and that is that I'm getting my fill of hotel rooms. This one is, this hotel's nice. Just gonna ditch my stuff and then we're off to Antiquera, which looks amazing. Get sandwiches. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bocadillo. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, welcome to Antiquera National Park. I have to say, first impressions, not too dissimilar to the Yorkshire Dales. It's lovely. This is like, <laughs> this is so slippy, look at this. I'm walking on slop, because there's been a lot of rain this week, which is great for photography. That's why we've got all the mist in El Choro this morning. But, yeah, not great for walking around these, uh, <laughs> these rocky footpaths. I'm definitely going on my ass on this walk, almost certain. So if you've not been following along or if you're new to the channel, let me just talk more about the job that I'm doing. So normally, you know, I make videos for this YouTube channel. That's, that's my job, landscape photography on YouTube. And it doesn't matter if I go out and don't get an image or don't get a good image because there's always a story to be told and a video to be made. The trials and tribulations of landscape photography, it's fine. But because I have to actually deliver images for this job, and this job, by the way, isn't anything to do with YouTube. This is for the tourist board. They want images from photographers who are well-known, photographers that are critically acclaimed and accomplished in their field. 
So I don't know why they've chosen me. But with that comes pressure. Like I did a, two videos ago, there was like a press conference, a proper mad press conference. Um, and I, was, I wasn't expecting any of that. So all of this does, all of this adds to the pressure. You've got to produce images and they've got to be good. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's just a different dynamic. I don't know, I am quite enjoying it. I do enjoy the pressure. Um, yeah. I don't know, there you go. Just a little insight into this job. Oh, not, I, I don't know where I am, by the way. I'm just like <laughs> completely surrounded by towering limestone cliffs. Oh, it's a maze. And not only will I fall over today, I'll probably get lost as well. So I want to shoot that, that view, but I need to get higher. And I reckon I can get higher quite easily by climbing up this stack that you can just see above my head there. But the problem is there's quite a few people around at the minute and I don't really want to encourage that behavior. So as soon as people clear off, I'm going up. And there's people climbing all over the rocks, all over the park. So I don't think going off trail is an issue. Just this is a particularly steep rock, big rock. Yeah, no problem. No problem. This is the sketchy bit. Up, 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 up. Bam, we're up. There we go, look at this. Very cool. Just want to hunker down. Don't want to be that guy. Definitely a run and gun shot this. I'm just not comfortable here. I would be if there weren't people around, um, but the view from here is phenomenal. You just get that elevation above these pinnacles in the center and the way the light is, it kind of works. It's harsh, it's backlit, but yeah. I'm just concerned because I'm basically on view for everyone in the National Park. And that is not necessarily the most responsible thing. Okay, we're getting an interesting development here. The temperature dropped, the wind picked up. I don't know if you can see behind me. See that? We've got mist rolling through. Oh God, it's going to go, isn't it? It's going to disappear. Okay. Oh, yes. Right. Sorry, I'm going to have to... You have to temporarily say goodbye. Okay, so, <laughs> so the mist rolled through in a second, a split second, and I swear to God, I am not kidding. There was about five to 12 seconds where we got mist and light, and I grabbed the camera, swung around, pointed it in that general direction behind me, fired off two frames, and then the light had gone. I didn't look at the images. I hope they're somewhat composed. That was proper, like, just run and gun, <laughs> literally scramble and scramble and shamble. So light is everything and without the light, the wider shot doesn't work. So we've got no light, but I have got the 100-400 lens and all of a sudden <laughs> the landscape comes alive. I found two trees nestled amongst the rocks that really stand out when you get that separation of the mist rolling through. Oh, it's really coming in now. Do you know, they told me to, whoa, they told me to come to, and come to Andalusia for the sunshine. <laughs> come to Andalusia for the mist and fog, because that's all I've had since I've been here, but I'm not complaining. I couldn't have asked for better conditions, and this is beautiful. Bloody death trap. <laughs> yep, here we go. Come on, come on. Oh, so I got the shot that I was after. Flipping Nora, man. The wind's blowing and this mist has come through. All visibility is now gone. I love it, I love it. I love landscape photography. That was the shot I wanted. That's the shot that I want to hand over to the Andalusian authorities from this national park. The, the lone tree between two limestone mounds, two limestone monoliths, beautiful light, atmosphere, mist and fog. You know, it's not your typical tourist image and that's exactly what I wanted to avoid. I don't want the tourist shots, I don't want the postcard shots, I want the stuff that I want to shoot and that's what's so good about this job. Shoot.
check this bad boy out. It's like a playground for photographers, this place. Whoa, don't want to fall. Flip it back. Oh, I'm shooting handheld because I'm just discovering, I've not had this camera very long, this is a Nikon Z8, and I'm discovering how good the image stabilization is. And in this environment, when you've got so many elements within your scene, the slightest shift in movement can dramatically change your composition. And because the ground is so uneven, and because the wind's so strong, it's just so much easier to go handheld. Image stabilization, up my ISO a bit. It's, I think it's perfectly acceptable. This, this is hardly a chill, you know, this isn't really a slow photography environment. I mean, look at that wind, the mist and the fog, constantly switching compositions and lenses. You've got to stay agile and fast. Handheld. Hola. All right, we are back in the hotel room, but my work day is far from over. All right, so the first job is to refund a customer who ordered two books and paid for them to be delivered by courier, but they were accidentally sent using Royal Mail, which is nowhere near as good as a courier service especially at this time of year being so close to Christmas. Next job is to reply to important emails that need a response. Half of the problems I face on email are down to Royal Mail. Without a doubt, I have an email from a customer here who ordered a book on the 27th of November and he's emailed me yesterday to say, Tom, I've checked the tracking and the book still not left the UK. And he's right, it's not. And it's like, what do you do in these situations? Like, I've packed the book and shipped the book, right? So my part is done. And then Royal Mail, faff on. And just either don't deliver the book or just, it just sits in a warehouse for weeks, honestly, sometimes months. And I keep, you can't keep telling the customer to be patient. You've just got to either refund them or send another one. And it stresses me out and it's it's just poor service by Royal Mail. Anyway, that's what I'm dealing with now, flipping Nora. And next job is to charge all batteries. You've got to keep on top of this, make sure that everything's fully charged every day. Batteries charging and next job is to back up all media, images and video. So that is everything importing onto my laptop, apart from you. So I need to switch you off, import you into there, and in the meantime, I'm gonna have a shower. All media backed up, shower done, fresh and clean. Time for some dinner. Yes, yes. Oh man, I'm absolutely done it. I'm ready for bed. It's been a long day, but I've got all the jobs done. I reckon I've hit my four image quota, which I'm very happy about. Man, how good was El Choro? And then the Antiquera, Antiquera, which was just beautiful. But please join me tomorrow, because for sunrise, I'm going back to Antiquera National Park. Hopefully we'll get some light. I really want to see those rock formations with some good lights. But then after that, in the afternoon tomorrow, we're going into the high mountains, the Sierra Nevada, which place hosts to the tallest peak in mainland Spain. So I believe it's gonna be cold, wintry, alpine conditions. I'm not prepared. <laughs> I didn't bring any winter clothing. Um, I, I just, I'm bad. I just didn't read the PDF properly. It's entirely my fault. So we'll go and we will suffer for our art. There's no other way of saying it. It's completely unshootable. I thought I would talk about health and energy. Oh, I'm just gonna drop a polarizer on and see what that does. I hope to God, I hope to God it's sharp. I have a terrible sinking feeling that none of those images are sharp. And I have good news and bad news. Bad news is, 